Teams provide a method to share a document or folder with multiple individuals at once. Any team you belong to displays on the left of the documents page. Selecting a team shows the documents shared to that team. Any company member can create a team. To do so, navigate to your account settings and select Teams at the bottom. Any team you belong to displays here. If you are a team member, you can access the team, see who else is in the team, and decide to leave the team. Note, if you leave a team, you will also lose access to the documents shared to that team. To create a team, select Create Team. Give the team a name and an optional description, and click Create Team. The account that creates a team becomes a team admin. Add members to the team by typing their email addresses into the field. Decide if that individual should be a team member or admin. Admins can add and remove team members and delete the team. Note you are deciding who can manage the team and who is a member of the team only and has no relation to setting company admins. Any team member can share a document or folder with the team. Select Share and navigate to the Team option. All teams you belong to are available to choose from the pull-down. Then select the needed permission sets and click Share. The team displays in the Share dialog and the permissions can be changed later if needed. Note if an individual is shared into a document twice, once through a team and separately as an individual, the user receives the combination of permission sets. For example, if I share John into a document with a view and comment, and he is a member of the design team that is shared into the same document with edit, link, and export, John can edit, link, export, and comment in the document. Teams provide another method to keep documents organized throughout your company and a technique to allow several individuals access to documents and folders.